I'm Ann Lee, and this is Nonstop Connecticut. Today we're looking at what there is to do in a day in the New Haven area. First stop, Pez. Since 1927, people have been popping these tiny little iconic candies in their mouths. More than 80 years later, Pez has opened its doors to the public here in Orange, Connecticut. You can learn about the evolution of Pez and see some pretty cool memorabilia, including the world's largest Pez dispenser. We're with Sean Peterson from the Pez Visitors Center. And Sean, you have so many amazing items. We had a large archive to, to pull from, and we just picked the things that we thought would be most interesting and best to represent the brand from the beginning. So not only can the visitor experience looking at the wonderful collection you have, but what else can the visitor experience? You expect to be overwhelmed with all things Pez. Sight, smell, and taste. You can see everything that we've done. You can smell the candy being made, and you can taste any of our 14 flavors that we have available. And can I actually watch them making the candy? Absolutely. We've got uh, viewing windows into our production area Monday through Friday you can watch the factory workers package everything we've got videos that explain the process and lots of interactive things along the way for guests to enjoy do you have any little insider tip that you could share with us I think people are surprised to find out we've been a brand since 1927 and when Pez started it was an alternative to smoking I think that's the biggest surprise that we get from people you know they always thought it was just a children's product and something you know from the 50s or 60s but we've been around much longer we went from an adult product to a children's product. We added a cartoon character to the top, fruit flavors, and that's giving it the staying power that it's had all of these years. Wow, who knew this was all right here in Orange? Next stop, we'll head about seven miles up to New Haven. Downtown New Haven is buzzing with activity from sunup to sundown. Yale University, art and history museums, theater, shops, international cuisine, lounges and dance clubs make it a must visit. If you do visit, be sure to eat at Louie's Lunch, one of several burger joints across the country claiming to be the birthplace of the hamburger sandwich or the original Frank Pepe Pizzeria Napolitana, famous for its signature thin crust pies since 1925. You won't be disappointed. Delicioso. Next stop is about 12 miles away in Bramford. We are about to take a narrated cruise around the beautiful Thimble Islands. A cluster of about 25 inhabited islands and hundreds of smaller islands off the coast of Bramford, Connecticut. Legend has it that the pirate Captain Kidd buried his treasures here in the 1600s. Could today be the day it's discovered? Okay, probably not, but there are a lot of other discoveries to be made here. We are here with Captain Mike from the Sea Mist Thimble Island Cruises. So Captain Mike, what can we expect today on this cruise? Well, we've got a beautiful day out here. Uh, the wind is just right for a nice calm ride and we're going to go around 25 islands and give you a description of each. Now I hear there's so many stories here about the different islands. Do you have a favorite one in particular you like to share? Well, I, I always like telling about the pirates, especially for the, the young kids that come on board. Uh, we, we, we really have some fun with that. So we know the best seat is the captain's seat. But is there a second best spot that we should be sitting in on this cruise today? Well, almost everybody that comes down to the Sea Mist uh, likes the upper deck, just to be in the open air under the sun and, and, and get, a, get a view. What a beautiful place. Okay, next stop, six miles over to Bishop's Orchard. This place has been around since 1871, and they've been making wine since 2005. I love this winery. These award-winning wines aren't made out of grapes like you'd expect. Instead, they're made out of fruits including pears, strawberries, and apples. We're on our way to the place, which is right next door, and it's BYOB. Happily impaired. This should go good with lobster. Let's go. Our next stop is less than a mile away. It's called The Place. It may look like I decided to go to a family barbecue, but I'm actually here at the place. At this unique eatery, visitors dine outdoors while their food is roasted on this fire pit. The menu is short and sweet. It features fresh seafood, meats, grilled vegetables, and a few choice desserts. Visitors are invited to bring their own side dishes, beer, or wine, and even decorative elements like tablecloths and candles. We are here with Gary Knowles, owner of The Place Restaurant in Guilford. Now Gary, how long has the place been here and how did you get your start? 
The place has been here since 1971, and the original idea for the restaurant was a clam digger back in the 1940s who started roasting clams by the side of the road, and he started a little restaurant. And my brother and I worked for him uh, when we were in high school and college. And when he left the business, we decided we wanted to continue this business. Gary, tell us about the pit back here. The pit is 23 feet long, and we use big pieces of wood up to 10 feet long, and we cook lobsters and clams and steaks and corn on that fire. My mouth is starting to water, so I'm gonna go put my rump on a stump and dig in. See you soon.